Hello everyone, welcome back to All Access. I'm your host Alfredo and today I'm going to be showing you my favorite logos from each NHL team. So 1 through 32 and let's get started and let's talk hockey. So first up on this list, I have the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. I have the logo right here. So and I have it right here. So the Anaheim Mighty Ducks, I mean, you can't go wrong with the logo. For me, this is my all time favorite hockey logo. I mean, I have the mask right here. That's why I bought it. I was a huge fan of it when I first saw it, and it really made me a fan of the Anaheim Ducks too. Look at me saying that word in a Kings shirt. But yeah, this is such a classic logo, not only to hockey, but in, to sports. Next up, I have the Arizona Coyotes Kachina logo. This one's pretty cool too, almost for the, not, not, well, not for the same reason, but the colors are so like all over the place, and I like that native, that indigenous feel to the logo. I mean, you can't, you can't really tell too much that it's a coyote, but can definitely tell it's an animal of some sort, so I give the credits there. But this is such a, a classic too. 22, because this was a logo that was once hated, and now it's a logo that's well loved from almost like every, <laughs> every hockey fan. Next up, I have the Boston Bruins uh, secondary logo here. I mean, there, I, there are other logos I could have chosen, uh, like the main one or some of the old school ones, but this one's really cool because Really, I, I mean, the B on the on the crest of the jersey, it's nice and all, but they're called the Bruins. You gotta put a freaking bear on there. And this is pretty cool too. It's just funny too, I realized, this list is almost like uh, Neil from Post to Post, if you watch that guy's channel. Um, he's got some good stuff, but I was thinking of making this video, um, like right before he uploaded his video, I'm like, man, now I'm gonna look like the copycat here. So yeah. And our list is almost the same. So yeah, this is my favorite Bruins logo and it's pretty cool. Alright, next up we have the goat head right here. I mean, this is a pretty classic one too. A lot of these are just classic logos, of course, because why wouldn't they? And the goat head is definitely an exception right there. No exception. The colors are awesome. I love black and red. One of my favorite color schemes. And the silver, white, like everything is so... Like it fits perfect with each other, and when you put when I see it on this jersey on the main jersey too, like I said in my other video, like it's just it's just so beautiful. So next up, I have Blasty for the Calgary Flames. I mean, again, another logo that was once hated, and it's a logo that's loved by many now. This logo, I really like it because it reminds me of Carter Slade, the goat, like the original Ghost Rider from Mar the Marvel comics. And it's just so badass. I mean, come on. Like, I could have chosen the Atlanta, the Atlanta Flames logo too in the current C, but man, I, in my opinion, this one like outdoes the other ones. Next up, I have the Carolina Hurricanes uh, alternate logo on their main jersey. I mean, this one is this one's awesome. I was I almost picked the main crest, but once I kept looking at this one right here, like. I, I gotta choose this one. I mean, if you're from Carolina, you already know. And we're us NHL fans, we already know the history behind it. And the negative space in between the flags, like um, making the shape of North Carolina, I mean, it, that's freaking cool. I love stuff like that. I love hidden meanings, hidden little images. And it, to me, like it almost plays tribute to the Hartford Whaler logo with that negative space age. So yeah, Carolina, you guys got a good one. Next up, I have the Chicago Blackhawks Winter Classic logo. I mean, this one's pretty simple. This one's very simple, but it's really clean. I mean, the, it's, it's just black and white. It's just black and white, but it's a it's a retro logo, or a take on a retro logo. I can probably say that better. This one's just better. I mean, there are some other ones I was probably gonna pick, like the C on the on the shoulder, but once I found this one, I'm like, that one that one's pretty sick. Next up, the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, main logo here, their current logo. I mean, this one's just this one's nice. This one's it's simple and I like. I don't know why, but I like letter. I don't know what they call like letter based logos, but this one's like super cool and the pug going down making an avalanche. And they, this was the only logo the Avs ever used on their crest. Maybe not on the crest, but like as a main logo. But man, to go from the Nordiques logo to this, like it, it's awesome. I mean, I was gonna pick the. The little uh, the mountain with the little C in it, but that, I like that one too. But th there's just something about this one I really really like. Next, I have the Columbus Blue Jackets uh, alternate logo and the logo that's on their on their alternate jersey. My favorite alternate jersey in the NHL, the Cannon. This one is amazing. I love the off white color, the shade of blue they use, and the shades of blue they use in that little star right there. Like that's awesome. And 
how can you not love the canon? The canon's freaking awesome. And the canon, it represents what uh, the the era that they're trying to play a tribute to as the Blue Jackets. So, Columbus, good job. All right, next up, I have the Dallas Stars. One of the old Dallas Stars um, alternate logos, the one that they wore on their shoulders with that big star jersey. This one is freaking cool. I, I really like this one. I mean, it's, it's really simple. I like the, the shape of Texas, how they have it, and the star they use there. And then, I mean, it, it's just a simple logo. There's not really much to it, but there's just something I like about it. Next up, here we have the Detroit Red Wings current logo. I mean, there are some other ones I could have used too. Like, they're just very limited options. There's not much to pick from. But I mean, the Red Wings logo, it's a, it's a classic too. It's one of the logos in the NHL that's never, never really changed throughout its history. So I mean, it, you gotta kind of respect the history behind it. They have the Edmonton Oilers, a logo that they used and on their, for their home jerseys in these past playoffs. This one's a tough one to choose. There was, there was these, um, it was either this one or the alternate logo on the shoulder patches on the on the meteor lo meteor jersey. I was gonna pick that or that, but I, I think I like this one more just because it has orange in it. I mean, if maybe if the other one had orange in it somewhere, I, I would would have picked that one in a heartbeat. But for now, I, I have this one, and it's pretty cool actually. It's not bad. I actually don't really like the home logo, the regular logo as much. In my opinion, the logo just looks like a little. I don't know, just like saliva and like a, like it looks like a bib, it looks like a baby's bib. Next, I have the Florida Panthers original logo. You can't like, how could you pick the home jersey, the home logo, the current logo, or any other logo over this one? This one is freaking amazing. It's aggressive. It's like it's scary. It's freaking out at you. How could you not pick this logo? Like, <laughs> I seen the Florida Panthers. They put like their old alternate logo on the helmet. It looks like that sun with the hockey stick like, and the palm tree. Like. That's not what the fans want. They want this. Bring this back, Florida. Next up, I have the Los Angeles Kings logo from 2002. This logo is my favorite, favorite one from the franchise because, because like, uh, look, purple is my favorite color. This is my favorite version of the crown compared to the other ones. I have it, I have it right here in my wristband. And I was born in 2002. This logo was adopted in 2002 as a crest. And purple is my favorite color. This logo has my favorite color on it. So I think the Kings did bring this back as an alternate logo or even as a main colors. Like. These, these logo, this logo is really classic, and um, it's one. I think it's one of the most underrated ones. It didn't have the best years in it, but it's definitely a classic and one they need to bring back. And next up, I have the Minnesota Wild um, current logo, current logo on the crest. This one is like, there's no way I was going to pick the alternate logo or the some of the old alternate logos instead of this one. This one is just beautiful. So many things coming together to make an animal and what the team is and what Minnesota is. Like, this is freaking amazing. Next up, I have the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, one of their, their globe logo. For some reason, this one says champions. I couldn't find one that didn't have that. I guess this one, they won the Stanley Cup at some point. But this one's really cool. I really like the globe. I like the colors of the Montreal Canadiens, of course. But there's just, I don't know why, but for some, when it comes to globes, I like it. I guess that's just because I'm a geography nerd or something. But yeah, Canadians, you guys gotta bring back this logo. At least as an alternate, you gotta make, update something. Update something from the Canadians. Next up, I have the Nashville Predators alternate logo. Their old alternate logo with a little skull on it. That, this one is freaking cool. I love, like, how do you not like skulls? They're pretty cool, Calaveras. And the text on it, like, I was thinking of picking their original home uh, crest with like the silver on it, but I was just drawn to this one instantly. Next up, I have the Fisherman logo. How could I not pick this one? This one is like one of my favorite NHL logos, period. I mean, how could you not? Like, I love the little little swirls right there and the, uh, I mean, the sailor. I mean, there's just everything I love. I love everything about it. The text, the colors the little wave on there the fisherman and i when i heard that the ironers are coming back with this rever as a reverse retro i'm like yes yes thank you man islanders you guys did a good job now you just have to figure out how you're going to colorize the jersey but a lot of islanders fans and, and hockey fans will be glad to see this back in the nhl next up i have the new york rangers liberty logo i mean i love it. this logo is it, it's self-explanatory it says, I already said, yeah, once you see it, you already know, oh, that's New York. Like, the, the current logo, I mean, it's cool, it's classic, but, um, 
for me, it's just too outdated. It's a little outdated, and I want, we want to see new. And it was cool to see this logo on the reverse retro. The reverse retro logo was a bit plain, though. I mean, aside from that, this logo is is really, really classic. It's really cool. And they, the Rangers definitely need to bring this back. Hopefully, maybe as a, a home logo or an alternate logo. I don't know. But they definitely should bring it back. Next up, we have the New Jersey Devils. And there's really only two options. This one or the green one. I think they should come up with more options because, I mean, it's a cool logo. But I think they need to make some more. Next up, I have the Ottawa Senators uh, alternate logo here. I'm not going to spend too much, or their old alternate logo. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. I've never been a big fan. I've never been really into the Ottawa Senators uh, branding at all. So uh, this was the only one I really liked. So sorry, Ottawa. Next up, I have the Philadelphia Flyers current logo. I mean, again, not much to say. I mean, it's a good logo, but like they should have more things to choose from. More like expand their branding a little bit. Do a little bit more with their branding, but. Not much to say here either. Next I have the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, I think this was a winter classic logo. I really like this one. Maybe because like it has not only that classic feel, I like that baby blue and white that the Penguins had at the time, the color scheme. And then I I just like the scarf on it. I like the little scarf on the Penguin. Like it says, like it's winter time, it's hockey season. And that's what I really love about this logo. So hopefully, the I, I would like to see the Penguins bring this back on, a, on, a, on the crest of a jersey someday. Or hopefully it has a home logo. I mean, that sounds pretty dumb for me to say, but I really like this one. Next up, I have the San Jose Sharks. The uh, San Jose Sharks. The San Jose Sharks logo from their stealth mode jerseys. I mean, as, like I said before, or I didn't say before actually, as much as I despise the Sharks, they I think they have some of the best branding in NHL history. These, this, it, they're all awesome. And this logo, like it's all blue and that little speck of orange on the Sharks eye, it's perfect. It's beautiful. Um, of course, I wouldn't. I mean, I would want it on the current home jersey, but you know, there's nothing wrong with the home, the current logo and the home jersey. But San Jose, you guys did a good job with that jersey, and that's a logo. Next up, I have the St. Louis Blues current logo. I mean, there was other options to choose from. I was thinking of choosing the uh, one of their old alternates they had. It was uh, that circle one with the gateway arch on it. But I mean, this one's cool. I've always actually, I kind of like the St. Louis Blues brand, especially their home jersey, like I showed in the other video, and the logo, I mean, the logo, if you know the meaning behind the logo, like, you will have a lot more respect for it, but I like the color scheme and everything about it. Next up, I have the Seattle Kraken logo over here, the new expansion team, I mean, it was really, was really only two choices here, either this one, or the anchor one, with a little space needle, that one sounds pretty cool too, but I really like this one in the negative space, to make a little tentacle of the, the Kraken. And I really like the colors too. I've seen that the their new AHL team, the Firebirds, I think it's called, I forgot where they're at, but it's just like a, like an orange, like fiery red and orange. And it has like a little dash of like the icy blue uh, for the eye for the Firebird. And it's supposed to, it's supposed to mirror the Kraken logo here. So good job Kraken. Next up I have the Tampa Bay Lightning, their original logo. I mean, this logo, I really like this logo a lot. The two different, people will complain about the two different fonts. I mean, that looks okay to me. I, I, you know what though, I will say, uh, as much as I like this logo, it does kind of remind me of the Power Rangers logo. I mean, let's be honest, it kind of does look like it, but I think the, the Tampa Bay, they should go back to this one. Just cause their current logo is too bland, it's too boring. And the uniforms too, it's like they're just, pre they pretty much ripped off the Toronto Maple Leafs. So they should go back to this. Up at the Toronto Maple Leafs current home logo. I mean, what else was I was I gonna pick? I I'm actually a big fan of Toronto the Toronto Maple Leafs branding. Their logo is clean. I mean, you know it's Canada once you see that Maple Leaf. I mean, there's there's, there's nothing you need to change. And I the, the meaning behind the veins of the leaf is pretty cool too. And they're I love the blue and white colors. I mean, kind of reminds me of something a little familiar here, but yeah. Toronto, do not change your logo, please. All right, next up, I have the Vancouver Canucks current home logo on the crest. I mean, I really do like the Vancouver Canucks logo. I, I, I liked it for a long time. But the problem that the Canucks had in the past is that for some reason, like they had that Vancouver uh, arc over as over the logo. And they like they actually had that like a part of like, why? We know where you're from. Like, you don't have to have it on there. Or at least not in that way. But yeah, the I'm very happy the Canucks took that off their jersey and away from the logo. 
because now it looks more clean and I really like this one I was gonna pick the other one the little ring with the hockey stick in it but there's just something about this one that I really really like next up I have the Vegas Golden Knights current home logo I mean I, I was thinking of picking their Vegas strong logo or uh, or their uh, alternate one on the shoulders but I really like this one and as much as I hate the, the Knights too they got they got a pretty good branding too and I really like the negative space of the V, of, of the helmet making the V. I mean, that's, I, I love stuff like that. I really like stuff like that, especially when they have head, hidden letters, hidden stuff like that. But yeah, Vegas, do not change your logo. But it might happen, but don't change your logo. Next up, I have the Washington Capitals alternate logo here. I mean, the, the Capitals, what are you doing? I mean, you have this wonderful logo. You could have this as your crest, the main logo. Not to say that the the text logo on the jersey is bad. Like it's pretty cool for a font, but like I don't, I wouldn't like having a look like like your name, your text as a logo. I mean, for me, even as a like because I'm a, I'm an Anaheim Ducks fan too. I didn't really like the the text being the logo itself either. Like that's the same thing with this. I'm not a Caps fan, so I can't really say too much. Uh, to help change that, but the capital capitals, you guys gotta change it to this. This is way, way cooler. The so next up, I have the Winnipeg Jets here. Their alternate logo, the one on the patch here. I mean, there was no way I was gonna pick any other logo besides this one. This one's my favorite Jets logo, I like the text, and it looks like the little aircraft uh, patch here for the for the was the Air Force, and the little maple leaf one and the cross hockey stick. It looks really cool. It looks really good, and good job, Jets. So yeah, there, that's all my favorite logos from each of the teams. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, share this video. And please subscribe because we are on the road to 100 subscribers. I got a good video coming out for that one. Alright, stay tuned and stay cool. Peace.